1911, James A. Pattison took pictures of the promotion for the county fair. When you zoom in on that, you can see strings of lights on the courthouse. Then in 1915, they put out lights at Christmas. The city light commissioner at the time, a gentleman by the name of Jack Hawes, had uh, planned to string lights for the Grand Army Republic Convention that was going to be held in the community of Minden that summer. But unfortunately, he couldn't show the lights then because they were single uninsulated wires or something with the electrical aspect that rain and bad weather kept them from being used. You know, it all started a hundred years ago. Jack Hawes uh, has really became a, a, a household name here uh, as we learn more about it. And uh, he wanted to uh, recognize the Civil War veterans. And uh, it just so happened it was right around the Christmas holiday. And so uh, I'm sure that sparked his idea to uh, uh, start a tradition that he probably never imagined this would continue on to this day. So supposedly, legend has it that he at Christmas time took a string of those lights and put them from the dome of the Christmas down across the square, the lights on the square, and surprised the citizens of Minden the first time. The city crew spent about a week putting the lights up, uh, which is a, a tall order and uh, safety is of up, utmost importance. But once that's all done, uh, the, the cost to turn the lights on and off is pretty insignificant. One of the largest uh, issues that we have today is maintaining the integrity of the lights. Uh, uh, we don't know the exact age of the lights, but we're looking at probably 50 plus years old. Every spring when they take the lights down, they unscrew each and every bulb. And legend has it there's 12,000 lights, over 12,000 lights there. And so they have to unscrew every one of them to wrap up the wire and store it properly or else the bulbs will create, crack and break. And so first, uh, there's a lot of labor in unscrewing the bulbs, and then uh, obviously every fall they got to go through, test all the bulbs, you know, try to make sure they all work. I'm in the Christmas pageant, been involved with it for 50 plus years. Well, right now it's being op or it's being performed rather on two sides of the square, and so we have total, I think, of around 100 plus cast members. Uh, when it originated in 1946, it was performed on all four sides of the courthouse. And because of, uh, more than anything, storms damaging sets and things of that nature, I don't know how many years back it's gone to just two, but it's been on two sides since the 60s. The pageant is performed outside and it's really a, uh, it's, it's fulfilling the prophecy of the coming of Christ. And it, it talks, it's biblical and it talks about the foretelling of the Christ child and then it culminates, of course, with the birth of Christ, the shepherds, the wise men, and uh, the Christmas lights actually are kind of the highlight of the pageant because they come on out of the darkness when we're talking about the birth of Christ in the pageant. And it's only 30 minutes long, so I always encourage people to come to the pageant because it'll restore their faith and secondly, they'll enjoy it and put themselves in the true meaning of Christmas. <laughs>